Well, folks, here you have a Scout Traveler, a 6x6. I have no idea. I can't find anything about this thing. <laughs> All I know is where I look for the serial numbers and stuff. It was made by some company called Otaka. Yeah, Otako Limited. Here. Maybe over here you can read it better. I don't know. It's um, from Ontario, Canada anyways. It's uh, Bartako Industries. No idea. My best guess is this thing is a 1972 uh, model because there's a 72 stamped in the VIN kind of separate <laughs> Anyways, I don't really know absolutely anything about these other than I consider it like an Argo uh, It's got a little two-cylinder liquid cool well, I'm sorry uh, air-cooled engine in it uh, I'm gonna guess it has or had electric start I don't know, absolutely nothing. I'm guessing it's supposed to float. Everything looks just weird and not very beefy. Like the axles are just tiny. Look at them little things. <laughs> I mean, the hubs look like they're made out of uh, exhaust tubing or something. I don't know what's going on here. Hey, who knows? Things were different back in the day. Anyways, we're gonna we're gonna put some of this ugh, wood stuff out of the way here and see what we're working with. This is not very nice. <laughs> so we got a, a shambled mess of electrical, so that's cool. The exhaust has been welded about a million times. We are, it is. Uh, not looking good for the motor to be loose. That's good. It's a good start. Really enjoy that. There's chains out of Yazoo under here. Huh. Now, if these are like Argos, they're supposed to float. But if I can see a big hole down there to where I can like stick my hand through, I don't think. Uh, it's gonna float very good. Good thing all of our uh, water's frozen right now. <laughs> what a weird machine. I've never personally had an Argo or anything. So this one I can guess like the fuel tank is under here. It's probably why this is like starting to sag up in the front. I don't know if this is a part of this or not. Looks like we can actually, oh, look at that. It's got an adjustable seat. That's cool. That is uh, heavy. Well, you know what I'm gonna do? We're just gonna get, man, is this like what holds it together? I'm not sure. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this seat out, I'm gonna get this panel out so we can kind of just get at the meat and potatoes of this thing here and see what's, uh, what's going on. Well, I'll need a drill for that, but. Oh, either these seats are really waterlogged or the sucker's gonna have a hard time floating, I'll tell you that. With them in there. Okie dokie. This thing is definitely not very good. I will get a drill and we'll pop that thing off.
it moves a hair. Not much more than a hair. Oh. It moved more than a hair. Oh. Uh. Let's throw a little bit of oil in there just in case. Still got a bunch. We're still going with the Marvel mystery oil. <laughs> Might let that soak a little bit. Guess this is your gear shift? Oh yeah. Is there a mess of chains in here? That is crazy. You know, I'm gonna let that soak. I think while that's soaking, I am going to vacuum this sucker out. We'll just kind of try to clean some stuff up. I think that'll be the plan here. We will let that soak. I'm gonna put these back in so no garbage goes into there. All right. All right, man, was there a lot of funky junk in there? We got a lot of holes in this boat. <laughs> Down there, it looks like it was a plug at one time, but it looks like it got a lot larger. Anywho, I think the chains are sort of in line and whatnot. We kind of got some oil coming out of the exhaust here, so let's grab our bar. And we'll continue on our journey of trying to uh, see if I can get this thing to spin. It started to. Oh yeah. Well, she's got a little bit of movement, but not a lot. I guess I have to just keep letting it soak here. Gas pedal. Somewhere there's a choke, right here. Oh yeah. Whew. 
What an interesting setup. Man. All right. Uh, let's just keep trying. Walking it back and forth. Slather a bit more oil in her. I don't know what's going on in there. Get a good grip the one way. There we go. Let it soak. Hopefully it comes loose. <laughs> well, I mean, it's loose. It just doesn't want to do the full rotation right now. Piece of tape. Maybe that's how somebody was fixing the hole. <clears throat> All right. Well, let it soak. No big deal. Well, been a day or so. Uh, kind of hit it with the oil a few times. And it is actually loose now. It, uh, it didn't take too much. It's kind of doing its thing, but it doesn't sound very happy. That said, I'm uh, willing to uh, throw a battery on there and see what happens. <laughs> oh, I gotta go find the keys. Somewhere I got keys for this thing too. So, I will. Put that bad boy there. That's red, so no, that's ground. Somebody's got these a little bit backwards. Okay. Oh, there's two reds, that's why. <laughs> we'll put the red on red, red, and we'll put the red on black. Alrighty. Survey says. Well, that's cool. It'll be cool if it has compression. <laughs> Let's just see if it has spark. That is a big negative. No. I am thinking we're going to take that motor out. Because there's probably points in there or something. I don't even know what this motor is. A CCW? Does that make sense? Well, let's see if it even has compression. We should start there. All right. Survey says. Oh. Hope it's got more than none. I like it. That's pretty good. Let's hope we're all in the ballpark here. I hope, I hope, I hope. Uh, 
Ah, oh, awesome. All righty. Mint. Just have to address the spark issue. Unfortunately, I think we're gonna have to pull the motor out for that. Boo. It's gonna be all behind this cover, the points. Right. What are our points of contact here? There's a vacuum. Well, there's no way around it. <laughs> we have to pull the motor. I got no spark. Without spark, Alright, just gonna have the battery. Yeah, this thing's probably so old it's points. There's no ignition on there. Okay. Alrighty, no big deal. No big deal. Should only be like four or five bolts and it's out, so. I guess we'll get started. <laughs> Well, there you go. CCW, no idea what it stands for. But I just know we gotta get in there so we can look at the points. That is a lot of suck. How are you supposed to get that out? Well, I guess you take that off to get a wrench onto that one. Yeah, don't mind my messy bench. Oh, there's a bit of moisture in there. I was wondering if this motor's been changed because there's nothing metric on that bu buggy. Hoish. It's a bit of uh, moisture in there. Dival. Yuck errs, man. Not cool. Hopefully that's some kind of waterproof. I was hoping this cover would get us to the points, but I don't even think they're gonna be any good if we could get in there. Do you think that's holding it on? Possibly, eh? <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh, I don't think we're going to be so lucky, though. Well, the stators are in there. There's... Oh man, you know what sucks? Is I can't, I can't test the points. Oh, that is terrible. Why is there so much water? Well, because it's an amphibious vehicle, that's why. I definitely don't wanna be eating this thing off the ground here. I 
guess we should take <laughs> I guess we should take it all apart. We're going to have to probably order some points. I almost feel like uh, we're going to have to... I don't think these are going to clean up. Anyways, let's, uh, let's continue tearing it apart. Well, that is kind of unfortunate. Oh, I didn't have my right, I don't have the right bolts for my puller, but I managed to find a whole bunch of random LS bolts and stuff that uh, helped get that thing apart. Holy she, holy she is that ugly in there. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I guess water will do that. So anywho, our point, even if I clean these, they're, they're just buggered. They don't, uh, takes everything I got to get them to open and they don't close by themselves. So they should be spring loaded. So they're junk. And then I noticed down here, that's, I don't know what this winding is. Or that's a stator or what it is. See how this one's toast. I mean, we could maybe solder that. It looked like somebody's actually soldered it before. I'm just going to see if I can get a new new stator for it and then uh, a stator whatever this whole thing for a CCW engine and then maybe we can clean this up and hopefully everything is like good <laughs> seems okay it's got good compression turns nice so Hey, maybe it'll be a cheap fix. We don't know yet. Anywho, I'm going to have to go hunt around and see if I can find parts. So this is probably going to be an eBay thing or something. So, yeah, I guess in the near future, if you're ever wondering why that thing's sitting in the background, well, now that you're watching this, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, not much I can do till I can get some parts.
All right, we got this thing back together. I uh, hope everything's good. We got the right points this time. Uh, the first set I ordered were wrong. <clears throat> and I have no idea how long it's been since I've talked about this last. Because it's been a long time this thing's been sitting here. So anyways, the... Uh, the points that I bought and the ones that I are were totally, totally wrong. I don't know if I want to take that out. This one-handed life is pretty brutal, I'll tell you. Hold on a sec. There we go. So this is the ones that I bought. These are the ones that came out of it. You can uh, see there was quite the difference. <laughs> Anyways. We got her all back together. Uh, like I said, I did, there's new condenser, new points, checked everything. Hopefully everything works. We don't know nothing at this point. Um, hook my coils up. I kind of got to throw it in. I want to take the carburetor apart yet, but I just want to make sure it's got sparks. So I don't know how the ignition thing works on here. So basically I'm just going to set the motor in there and uh, hook it to the battery, crank it, make sure I have spark. Uh, just, if I don't, we're gonna have to pull this thing back out again and pull this apart to get out there and set the points. But I set it to whatever they say the spec is, so I can't remember, that's actually like a huge gap 14 plus, so we kind of went with the 15. Uh, yeah, so anyways, let's drop her in, hook her up, and see if we get some spark. Hope so. <laughs> Hopefully I got enough junk hooked up that it'll work. Doesn't seem like it. Oh no, I gotta hook the battery up. <laughs> That'll help. Survey. See if I hook all the cables up right if it works. Look at that, weird. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, got good spark. Uh, I think what I gotta do now is put all the rest of the bits back on. Fuel pump. I don't know. Oh, I got Alrighty, as I was saying, <laughs> we're gonna put the rest of the bits back together on there, put the belt on, uh, hook up the cables. Yeah, I'm really asking for it just to try the carb, but eh, whatever, we'll try it. I'll have to mix some fuel. I don't wanna use the tank just yet. Uh, yeah, you know this is good. So let's just, Finish hooking up our fa last few little bits here. All right, we got some gas and some mix. Let's see what happens here. I'm uh, just gonna shoot some down the cylinders and we'll see if this goes. Give her. Healthy little drink there. Survey says. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, wants to go. Didn't like that. <laughs> All right, give her another drink. Survey says. I wonder if my plugs are bad. <laughs> I'm gonna hunt around, see if I can find some spark plugs. Maybe some fresh plugs is all this thing needs. They are pretty cruddy. <laughs> What luck. Eh, these are a little hotter, but should be fine. Survey says. Hmm. Maybe I should have gave it some fuel. Probably a lot of fuel. <laughs> All right. Do these actually matter if they're right or left? can do it. Man, that is stubborn. <laughs> Bugger. All righty. As you can see, motor's back out. I am pretty sure the reasoning why this thing does not want to run is because the timing's off, which means we got to pull this cover, this back off. I don't know how far I have to go. We might have to pull this whole side off yet. I'm not sure. We'll first get the recoil off and I guess we gotta do the belt. And then I gotta Google how to time this thing. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to get started pulling this thing apart yet again, and then uh, we'll see where we're at.
right. We got this all apart. <clears throat> Damien had to go for the day, so when he comes back, he wants to try to get this all working. So I'm going to explain it when he comes back. We'll probably put it together and then just slam it in there and see if we can get it to actually start. That's the plan. Anyways, I guess the overall to set timing, you set this thing to around your top bed center, whatever it is. And then uh, you kind of go, I think it's like 15,000 uh, bottom top center, whatever it is. That's the terminology anyways. Normally you have a buzzer. We'll have an ohm meter. The point should be opening at that time. Somehow I have to figure out how to get my timing to hold because they say you're supposed to have your timing fully locked. Have to get that figured out. And then, uh, yeah, lock down your plate. You should be golden. I don't know for sure. <laughs> We're going to find out. At least Damien and I will probably experiment with it. If we can figure it out, it should be good. Next time you see it, it should be in there and we should be trying to start it and it should start. That's the plan anyways. But uh, for now, there's not much we can do. I did notice this little nipple down here is broken. So I'm really hoping that's just a return. And this is the feed side. If it's not, then we're in trouble and I'm gonna have to figure out carburetor parts and then <laughs> that'll be the next step. But we won't worry about that right now. I just wanna be able to see if we can get it to run just squirting gas down there like we were trying to do before. So it's kind of what we're shooting for. Anyways, I guess uh, till he comes back, this is where we're gonna leave it, so.
So I've had to take it out multiple times to do uh, the points, but uh, we got them set. I think we're uh, pretty much all ready to rock. We got our temporary fuel tank in, again. <laughs> I'm going to have to figure out some kind of a fuel tank. That one, you can't take apart to clean and it's got a lot of, I don't know, like a lot of water and oil and it actually dips from the top. So, I don't know if I can fix, clean that and fix it right or not. But anyways, let's see. Let's see. We'll give her a little, little squirt of gas and see if that helps. this in here for what like months To start pulling the motor back out again we lost spark on this one side i switched the coils around spark moved so i know something happened to the points out of the blue so i'm going to open it up take a look at the points see what's going we did have a fire up before it's getting fuel it just doesn't go and then uh, i decided to check spark so i will save you the grief i'm going to pull the motor quick i'm going to recheck the points because we can't do anything in this chassis so i have to pull the motor out to do everything every time <laughs> uh, anyways this time i think i'll just pull the carb off just because i don't want to deal with all the wires again blah 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 no big deal we'll pull the motor out set the point super quick smash it in that's the uh that's the plan Have spark. Mint. Both sides. What? Is there still no spark on the one? Did the other one go? How on earth? Well, that escalated yet again. <laughs> oh, man. So anyways, we basically what it is, we tore it apart. I cannot see their brand new points, the gap, everything like the, I shouldn't say the gap, but the uh, contacts, everything looked really good. So the only thing I can think of is I got a bad condenser. So I basically picked up a new condenser today. We're going to replace it. I mean, it, it was a new one, but that doesn't mean that stuff's good anymore, but, or as good. So anywho, we're gonna put that back in there. I'm gonna solder these wires back onto the end, screw it back into there, put it back together. Yet again, we'll put the motor back into this thing. <laughs> With any luck, it's just gonna work. Uh, yes, that's the plan. Between now and then, what I have done is we have cleaned out the fuel tank as good as I can. And uh, I vacuumed, did what I could. A little bit of water, there was some little bit, little bit of old, old oil kind of thing. I couldn't quite get to the vacuum. I have no other way to get in there. So anyways, I put some, whatever, that gas line antifreeze stuff. I still have to hunt around, find a fuel filter. I got to put a filter on there. But uh, first things first, let's get this condenser on there super quick. 
We'll slam this thing back into there and uh, hopefully it'll just run and work. That's uh, That's been the hope for a few months now. <laughs> Alrighty. Anyways, let's get going. I think we got her. Whoops. We got spark. Two sides. Mint. That only took forever. <laughs> All right. Let's see if this fires up again. All right. With any luck, I'm hoping this thing is going to start and start pulling from the fuel tank. Luck. Luck, I say. the wackiest thing to drive so any gear you put it in if you go forward or reverse you got to push forward to go forward or forward to go backwards then it's sort of like a dozer 
Forward break. Forward break. What a crazy contraption. <laughs> oh, man. We got to take this outside. We got to see what that's like. Well, that is a wacky machine. <laughs> so, the way it goes is, you put it forward, both sticks go forward. And then if you want to turn left, you keep the one stick forward, you pull back on the one, and it sort of must hit a break. And I think one of them is not quite adjusted. So this side doesn't quite, I got to play with that a little bit. But anyways, you do that. Then if you want to go reverse, you still have to go forward. Forward makes you go reverse. And then the same process, like this will stop this side. If you keep this one forward, this wheel will drive backwards. I don't know, it's, it's pretty wacky. <laughs> oh man, what a weird machine. I can't imagine it's very fast. I think next step is they're gonna, I just gotta clean, uh, gotta clean the carb up a little bit because she doesn't quite want to, uh, Fire right back up. Just give her a little, little sniff of the sauce there. She fires right up. So, uh, but judging by it, I probably have it like too rich. I didn't really measure. I just dumped. But it is running off the tank. Seems okay. Uh, well, maybe not. Maybe there is a. I don't know. Seems to be working, but there is a possibility that we have. That's what I was concerned about with a possible blockage or something in there. But I don't know. When it runs, it runs fine. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's take it for a spin outside and uh, see how this thing does in the snow. I don't have any water, so all I can do is take it on the pond and we can drive it on some frozen water. <laughs> we might have to wait till spring to see if it floats. I'm just imagining I'm just going to go bulldoze right to the bottom of the lake if I uh, go driving on it. But come summertime, I don't know if I'm going to cover this up, but uh, yeah, let's go take her out for a spin.
<laughs> oh, not a very off-road capable thing, really, compared to a four-wheeler or something. <laughs> Well, it does, it runs, it drives. It still needs a little bit of work though. What I gotta do yet is, well, I don't know if I'm gonna do it. It might be somebody else's project that'll do. <laughs> the, uh, well, you can't see very well, but there's a set of clutches where the brakes are. One of the clutches is bad. That's why you kind of notice this one side doesn't uh, spin a lot of the time. And it's a little hard in the, uh, it doesn't have traction a lot of the time. You engage it and I think it slips too much. So kind of been noticing that. Other than that, it's a pretty wacky machine. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Can't say I like it. It's rough as guts, golly. But it is finally running and driving. I think I picked it up early this winter or spring, or sorry, early winter, late fall. I don't know. There was snow on the ground, I believe and just trying to source parts and just getting my butt kicked. Wasn't very motivated to uh, get her done done, but hey, it's working now. Anyways, I, uh, I think that's where we're gonna leave this one. It's uh, probably just gonna go down the road. I think everybody's gonna play with it a little bit and then it's pretty much uh, <laughs> not gonna get seen around here. I'm hoping anyways. I don't wanna work on it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, I hope you folks enjoyed. I uh, want to thank you all for watching, and uh, we will catch you on the next one. Later. <laughs>